What's up, Archery World? This is Derek here with Three Sons Archery, and I just wanted to take a little bit to talk to you a little bit about some stabilization when it comes to archery. Now, I was playing with my boys today and ran across some toys. Remember these? Little Tinker Toys? So we're going to do some demonstrations that's easy to follow, easy to understand, and kind of see why people do different things with stabilizers on their bow. So for all intents and purposes today, this, this right here is a bow, okay? Grip is a little bit below center, just like a normal bow. It's got higher on the top, lower on the bottom. So, bare bow, nothing on it, right? Should balance out, well that top's a little bit heavy, so guess what? It's gonna wanna go all the way down and rest at the bottom. So, now let's put our accessories on here. Here's a rest, here's a sight, stabilizer, what have you. Now I'm gonna let go of this thing, light touch on the back, just watch it tip. It really wants to spin now. So this is where we say, you know what, a stabilizer is gonna help balance things out. So we're gonna put a stabilizer on in standard configuration. And we're gonna say, yeah, that helps a little bit. Slows the spin, but look where it wants to level out now. Straight, basically horizontal to the ground. Okay, so let me talk about this for just one second. Center gravity is out here, so it doesn't really matter how much you go this way. The center of gravity is staying right where my finger is. So, you've seen those quick disconnects that are about 10 degrees. I know this is a little bit extreme, but for demonstration purposes, it's going to work. Now watch. That thing's not tipping much at all. It's still leaning a little bit to the sight and rest and quiver side, but that thing's staying almost dead. So you say, well, what about a back bar? What does a back bar do? So let me put a back bar on here with a little bit of offset to offset the sight and quiver and everything. Now look at that hold. Dead. Dead in the hand. Just balance is perfect. So that's a little bit of stabilization. Let me take this back bar off. Let me put that stabilizer back to the standard configuration and just have another look. It wants to tip. I'm not spinning that with my finger. That's gravity tipping it right there. But simple, just a simple 10 degree. Helps balance that thing out pretty well. So I know that's using Tinker Toys, right? So it's a little bit easier to follow, but for those that had some questions on it, I uh, hope that I can help some of you guys out. Thanks for following along.